Hello, and thank you for your interest in audio precision. While there are hundreds of audio measurements that are appropriate for any particular device, there are some basic measurements that are relevant to nearly all audio devices. This video looks at signal-to-noise ratio. Signal-to-noise ratio, or SNR, is a measurement that describes how much noise is in the output of a device in relation to the signal level. Every device has some amount of noise at its output. The question is, how much is too much? The answer is, it's all relative. A small amount of noise may not be objectionable if the output signal is very strong. In many cases, the noise may not be audible at all. But if the signal level is very small, even a low noise level can have an adverse effect. To make the determination objectively, we need to look at the relative strengths of the output signal and the noise level, or to put it another way, the signal-to-noise ratio. SNR is actually two level measurements followed by a simple calculation. First, we measure the output level of the device under test with no input signal. Then, we apply a signal to the device and take another level measurement. Then we divide. A quick word about units. SNR measurements are usually expressed in decibels. As we saw with THD plus N ratio, using dB makes it much easier to manage large ranges in numbers, the kind of range you'd get when dealing with microvolts of noise compared to potentially 100 volts or more with power amps. There is one difference between THD plus N ratio and signal to noise ratio. THD ratios look at distortion and noise divided by signal, which results in a very small number, like 0.001% or minus 100 dB, whereas SNR looks at a signal divided by noise, which results in a large number, like 100,000 or 100 dB. Most noise sources are broadband, meaning that the noise extends across a wide frequency range. This means that a noise measurement of a device made across a wide frequency range will measure more noise than a measurement made across a more narrow range. Band pass filtering and weighting are often used with noise measurements to ensure that the measurements are both appropriate and comparable. Band pass filtering limits both the low and high frequency range being measured, defining a measurement band pass. A typical measurement band pass for audio devices is 20 Hz to 20 kHz. A weighting filter may also be used, either alone or in conjunction with a bandpass filter. Weighting filters apply one of a number of standard weighting equalization curves to the measurement, typically representing the response of human hearing. Any filtering used in a noise measurement must be stated as a component of the measurement conditions. For signal-to-noise ratio, APX has a measurement that automatically makes first the noise measurement, then the signal measurement, and calculates the ratio. First, we'll go to Signal Path Setup and configure the analyzer to our device. We'll choose Unbalanced to Unbalanced and leave the analyzer bandwidth at the default of 90 kHz. In the navigator, click on the Signal to Noise Ratio measurement. We'll keep the default filter settings, Low Pass Filter at 20 kHz, Noise Filter at 20 Hz High Pass. This provides a 20 Hz to 20 kHz band pass. Typically, SNR measurements are made at one of two signal levels, the maximum output level of the device or the nominal level of the device. In either case, the level used should be specified in the result. We'll use the nominal level of our device under test, which is 1 volt RMS. Click Start. The measurements are made and the ratios are calculated. The default ratio unit is decibels. You can also select x divided by y. That's it. We've made a signal to noise ratio measurement. The result should always be stated with conditions. For example, an SNR of 105 dB at 1 volt RMS input, 20 Hz to 20 kHz.